Adrienne Barbeau is a talented and beautiful actress who made her mark when she appeared in the now classic sitcom Mott. Since the 1980s, she's established herself as one of the most famous actresses in the horror genre. Now in her 70s, she's as busy as ever. Let's take a look back at Adrienne Barbeau's life and career and how she keeps herself busy today. Early Life and Career Adrienne Barbeau was born on June 11, 1945, in Sacramento, California. She wasn't from a showbiz family, yet somehow she had an innate desire to entertain. She graduated from Del Mar High School in San Jose and decided to relocate to New York City in the late 60s. She soon found herself working as a go-go dancer at some of New York City's most notorious nightclubs. In her autobiographer, she later described this as, quote, working for the mob. But it was clear she was destined for bigger things. Her Broadway debut was as a member of the the chorus in Fiddler on the Roof. As she gained more experience, she eventually landed the role of Hodel, one of Tevia's daughters in the play. This helped increase her popularity in theater circles, and she soon found herself receiving one offer after another for plays and musicals. She kept herself busy and appeared in over 20 plays and musicals, building up her acting talent. She was also briefly involved with an opera troupe, the San Jose Civic Light Opera. With them, she toured Southeast Asia and performed for American troops stationed in the region. It was during this time she realized she wanted to dedicate her life to entertaining others. While theater kept her busy, she knew it had its limits. To become a big star and make an impact on a larger audience, she had to graduate to working in film and television. She also knew these industries were harsher than working in theater. They were highly competitive, and it was often hard to find decent roles. Adrian got a lot of attention for her beauty, and often she came across producers more interested in exploiting her beauty than her acting talents. Nevertheless, she was determined to make it. Before we tell you more about Adrian Barbeau's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Adrian's TV Career Adrian Barbeau's TV debut is arguably one of the best of any actress. She was cast as Carol Trainer in the sitcom Maud, which debuted in 1972. Carol was the divorced daughter of the titular character Maud Findlay, played by B. Arthur. She loved working on the show, and her work was praised, though there were times when she felt it was her beauty rather than her talent that was the focus. She even recalled in her autobiography that, quote, no one was even listening to me. They were just watching my breasts precede me. She only appeared in a few episodes of the final season of Maud. She was determined to establish herself as a serious actress and fight against the notion she was merely a sex symbol. Apart from her role on Maud, she appeared in several TV movies, which gave her a chance to showcase her talents. Her first major role was as Daisy White in The Great Houdini, a biopic about Harry Houdini. Her role received praise, and she continued getting more work in TV movies. She also appeared in the TV movies Crash, Someone's Watching Me, and The Darker Side of Terror. In 1980, she appeared in three back-to-back -back hit TV movies, Top of the Hill, Valentine Magic of Love Island, and Tourist. With these three, she never looked back. Adrian has kept herself busy working in television ever since. Other notable roles have been as Sylvia Hartnell in the miniseries The Burden of Proof. She also played Selena Kyle, aka Batwoman, in Batman the Animated Series, The New Batman Adventures, and Gotham Girls. She played Kim Harvey in six episodes of The Drew Carey Show, Ruthie in the TV series Carnival, and Suzanne Stanwyck in the popular soap opera General Hospital. Her most recent TV roles were in the episode Drive-In from American Horror Stories and in the episode Callisto Soul in the show Cowboy Bebop, both released in 2021. Adrian's film career Adrienne has been a familiar face on the small screen, and she's also a huge star on the big screen. She made her big screen debut in 1980 when she was cast in the lead role as Stevie Wayne in the horror film The Fog, co-written and directed by her then-husband John Carpenter. Carpenter created the character specifically for Adrienne to play. The film was a low-budget, independent film that had huge success upon its release. It was proof Adrienne Barbeau had talents not just for TV, but that she was on her way to becoming a movie star as well. It also established her as a staple for the horror genre. Today, she's seen as an iconic actress in that genre. Another popular role of hers was in the escapist sci-fi film Escape from New York, also written and directed by John Carpenter. She appeared in the horror film Swamp Thing and in a segment of the film Creep Show. By 1986, she was a movie star and had a small but memorable role in the Rodney Dangerfield comedy Back to School. This hilarious film must have rekindled her interest in working in comedies. In 1989, she had a lead role in the adventure comedy film Cannibal Women and the Avocado Jungle of Death. 
She returned to her horror roots in 1990 when she starred in the now classic film Two Evil Eyes. She continued acting in features throughout the 2000s. Her notable films included The Convent, Across the Line, Ghost Rock, Fly Me to the Moon 3D, and Reach For Me. She hasn't slowed down since, and she's been just as busy appearing in films. Her notable film roles in the 2010s have been in Argo, Divine Access, Jimmy's Jungle, and Gates of Darkness. The 2020s also looks promising for her film career. 2020 saw two film releases for her, the comedy drama Eagle and the Albatross, which she starred in. She also had a lead role in the drama film For the Love of Jesse. In 2022, she showed she's still in love with horror films when she played a supporting role in Hellblazers. She also played the lead role in an upcoming horror film called Pitchfork, which hopefully will see a release soon. She still got it today. Adrian has established herself as one of the most versatile actresses of her generation, having a particular aptitude towards horror and comedy. She's seen as a living legend in the horror genre and still gets offers to appear in horror films and TV shows today. But she's also loved for her appearances in comedy films and TV shows and is still lauded for her performance as Carol Trainer in Maud. Adrian Barbeau is still as enchanting as ever and is still seen as a sex symbol. Yet unlike many other sex symbols, she's also seen as a brilliant actress. She's come along long way from her days as a go-go dancer at New York nightclubs. She was married to John Carpenter from 1979 to 84 and had a son, John Cody Carpenter, with him. Following her divorce from John Carpenter, she married Billy Van Zant in 1992, to whom she was married until their divorce in 2018. She has two sons, Walker and William, from her second marriage. She's also had a brief career voicing characters for video games, including Descent 3, Batman Arkham Asylum, God of War 3, Mad Max, and Fallout 76, to name a few. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite role from Adrian Barbeau? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.